Hey y'all, Patrick here. Today we're talking strings, specifically stainless steel versus nickel. The pros, the cons, the yins, the yangs, the best uses, and for which genres, and really everything in between. So I'm pretty sure that out of all the different kinds of bass strings with round wounds, flat wounds, tape wounds, and a few others, I would say that round wounds are easily the most popular and best selling out of any there. And between those, you have a few different options as well, mainly stainless steel and nickel. Now, out of these two, which one is better overall? There's not really uh, an answer for that. It really depends on each individual player. Now, and that also includes their playing style, the genres they mainly play in, the tone they're looking for, and the feel they're looking for too. So I thought it'd be fun to have a direct comparison between a set of stainless steel strings as well as nickel strings too. And the sets we'll specifically be using today for this test will be Dingwall sets. Now these are both really high quality and just awesome strings in general that last a really long time. And just, they're really nice and something that fits really well with this beautiful NG3 that Dingwall has lent out for me for a few videos that I'm really excited about. And it's just something that, you know, we can just go ahead and get a great bass tone as well as some great string tones too. So for all the sounds in this test, I have the NG3 set to only the neck pickup and passive mode going directly into my Focusrite Scarlet with no extra EQ or compression. And from there, we're gonna have the Dark Glass Ultra plugin set to a very minimal, just straightforward bass tone. And at the end of the video, I'll also include the raw DI sounds just to have that completely unfiltered, no amp simulation at all. Just the raw comparison between the stainless steel and the nickel strings. So let's go ahead and get started.
So to my ears personally, the stainless steel have a really crisp and bright sound with a nice low end bump too. And I really feel that stainless steel strings are a perfect fit for a bassist that's playing rock or metal just because of that high attack and that super bright and crisp sound. As for the nickel strings, I think there's a much more balanced EQ with higher mids that'd be more suitable for a way more broad array of genres like country or R&B and stuff like that, especially for slap too. I think the nickels truly excel in a good slap tone. And I also feel that nickel strings have a much smoother feel to them overall compared to stainless steel strings, which are much more coarse. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the differences between stainless steel strings and nickel strings. Which do you normally prefer? Has this video changed your outlook on them at all? And just, I'm really curious to see what different strings that y'all try too. But as always, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, follow me on social media, all that fun stuff. A big thanks to Dingwall for lending me this beautiful NG3. I absolutely love this bass. It's still the best B string on the market. Oh my God, I love it so much. And a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters as well. And if you'd like to be like these beautiful people right here and be included in giveaways, early access to videos and more, go ahead and head over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank you so much as always, and stay safe, practice that bass, and I'll see y'all next time.